Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is the second half of the dollar day haul. Uh, so the dollar items were in the last haul a couple days ago. Uh, this stuff I paid full price for. I believe a couple of them were actually 25% off. So ever since our Goodwills in uh, the Los Angeles area reopened after COVID, they added a second color as 25% off. So that's gonna be the next color of the week. Um, so it's kind of nice because sometimes that 25% just is enough to make you pick something up that maybe you wouldn't pay full price for, or it's just a little bit of an extra discount. So anyways, I also got quite a few shoes and a couple of handbags. So I'm pretty excited about that because I don't, I don't have much luck in those departments. All right. If you aren't subscribed and you want to be, definitely consider hitting the subscribe button down below. And if you like these, uh, these hauls, the thrift hauls, definitely be sure to hit the thumbs up. It means a lot to me. So I'm going to start with the two bags because I just put them, put them right here. Boo, can you lay down? She needs to come in. All right, let the dog in. She just likes to move back and forth between different outdoor spaces. All right, so this actually was my favorite bag um, and it was a new to me brand, but really, really, really fun design. Um, it's actually, in my opinion, perfect for fall. Just those, you know, warm tones, the orange. Uh, this is, I'm not going to be able to pronounce it. Maurizio Tauti. We're just gonna, I'll try and butcher things when I just don't know. Um, and I know you can look things up and hear them said. I just, yeah, I don't have that much time. So anyways, this is an adorable bag. This exact one I saw sold for like 48 recently. Um, and then they have lots of different styles. Some of them sold for more, some of them sold for less, but I absolutely love this. The straps are removable. So if you wanted to add your own strap or, I don't know why they're removable, to be honest. Like, what would you do? You can't, I don't know. But anyways, it's a fun bag. <laughs> and it wasn't marked very much. I think because it's just lightweight. Maybe they didn't recognize the brand. Uh, this is Cole Haan and I don't, I don't pick up Cole Haan all the time, but this, I believe was 25% off. It also wasn't marked very high and I really love this color. I was just reading something that Browns are really in this fall. Um, so you know, you know, if you don't want to go all Brown, but just start adding some accessories like Brown, this, I just think is really great condition, really classic style Cole Haan and minimal wear. So yeah, a little bit of wear inside, nothing tragic, but I definitely would use this bag. This is like a perfect everyday bag, um, or if you just want that pop of brown. So, all right, a couple pairs of shoes. We'll start with this one. Uh, this is Dansko, and the I didn't realize they made kind of a more mid-calf boot, but they're in really great shape. Almost like they've never been worn, but maybe they have. Uh, so Dansko, size 38. And yeah, the comps on this were pretty decent. So probably um, the Cole Haan, probably in that 35 range is what I'm going to hope for, just because it's in great condition. The the boots, um, I want to say some of the comps were 40 to 50. So probably ho hoping for that 40-ish range. These actually already sold, so I need to get these shipped out today. And I knew when I picked them up, they were not marked very, very much, but I knew when I picked them up, I don't have much left with this brand, but I just couldn't really pass them up because they were so fun. Um, so it's Donald Pliner and a size seven medium and just a really soft little ankle booty with the low heel. So very cute. This is a brand, I feel like I picked it up once, sold it once, um, but it's uh, another little ankle booty. It's got the gold accent of the heel. This is a brand called Lanvin, which it's going to be a little bit hard to read, uh, but it's L-A-N-B-I-N. -N. Very expensive brand. Uh, the comps are very mixed. So, and I feel like someone in my early days of reselling, when I picked it up at the bins one time said, but they didn't have much luck with it either either so but i just like the style it does have some light signs of wear um on the little gold part but i i think it's a great classic pair of shoe and very well made and very expensive retail so these are size 38. all right 
a pair of Manolo Blahniks and the three pairs of mules, like embroidered mules were kind of in that 75 to 100 range. So just a kitten heel, low, um, low kitten heel suede, and then just has this subtle embroidery. So there's the bottom size 37. And yeah, I do have another pair of Manolos that haven't sold for me. It's just one of those brands that's very nitpicky, but as far as comps, some of them can sell for a lot. But, um, so yeah, I was excited to find a pair just because I don't find the brand very often. This one I, I thought was adorable, but then I went to look up comps and there's quite a few in the same size that haven't sold and are not listed for very high. So this is Max Mara. You can see they have been worn a couple times, but definitely not significant wear. Um, and then just a really adorable little wedge, Pito wedge. So here's the deal. The comps, like one of these, the same size in similar condition is listed for 20. 39 is my size. So I might just keep them. Um, only because I paid full price for them. They aren't in perfect condition. There are quite a few others listed for not that much. And, you know, maybe at some point I'm going to need a cute little red pump. I don't know where, when, but um, we'll see. I think I have them listed, but... Yeah. All right. And then the last pair of shoes is a pair of men's loafers. Very, very classic with the gold hardware. And these are Bruno Magli, size nine and a half for men's. They do have the uh, Vibra marking down here. So, um, but you can see hopefully a little bit of the leg, the logo in there. This is the brand that, uh, what was his name? The athlete, the football guy. Oh my gosh. The big trial. I'll pop in the name. Um, anyways, he was wearing these shoes and it was in the, 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 oh my gosh, I'm, I'm dying not being able to remember the name. It's like everyone knows his name. It starts with an O. Oh my gosh, this is going to kill me. I just have a terrible memory. So Anyways, it is a very expensive brand. The comps for this is probably more in that 50 range, um, but classic and a great brand. All right, these sold within minutes of me listing, but then she wanted to change her address. And I told her that, you know, she needed to, to, to actually, this is the first time that, I, okay, so I've always heard that if they need to change the address that you ask them to change the address in eBay system, I send them a link to the how to change address after a purchase. Um, and I never really knew why I was doing that other than it's just a safety protocol of just they need to do it the way eBay wants them to do it. Well, actually my friend um, was just telling me that he had ordered something on eBay one time, it was like a camera lens or something. And someone had created an, a, an eBay account similar to his, just like one letter off and sent the person a message and asked them to change the address. And this camera lens went to, I think, Florida or something. And my friend got his money back after multiple days of, you know, but, uh, the, the, the seller also lost out on this very expensive lens. And so that's one of the reasons why if someone wants to ask or ask you to change the address, it's better to just send them the link of how they can change the address after purchase. Um, this person purchased it for $75 within minutes. Um, and then they did the change address thing and they were up in Canada and they sent me the correct address. And then they asked if I could relist it and they would buy it again with the correct address. Anyways, they haven't purchased it again. So I'll reach out to them and just let them know, but it's equestrian pants and they have the, um, like the padding or the not padding. It's like uh, suede in certain areas where you'd actually ride the horse. Um, anyway, so the brand is Fitz. Fitz Riding is what it's called. And yeah, this style seemed to do pretty well. So I'm hoping for that $75 mark again, but um, we'll see. We'll see if she ends up buying it again or someone else. All right, this is a free people item that I sold a couple times. It's the trapeze. I believe dress, but just really cute print. It's got these little lace accents. I have accidentally bought this at the bins before where the lace is torn. So I do try and take a good look at this style, but it's intimately free. They have a lot of different colors and um, it's just cute. So, all right, pair of Everlane jeans. 
This is the summer jean. And it's just a high rise, medium wash, straight leg, easy to wear. So I think the comps actually weren't that great for that. So probably in that 25 to 30 range. All right, I got two pair, two items from this brand and the comps are very mixed. Some of them very high and so a lot of it says vintage, but, uh, and I did look him up. He is a designer, um, was quite popular. Uh, I want to say the sixties and seventies, but really adorable vest. And yeah, the other item from him, I couldn't find any body suits by him, but again, maybe this was the same donor but it's a bodysuit. And then it's got the collar and the same little accents down here. So this one doesn't have a size tag. I think I put a size medium just based off of measurements, small medium, but um, we'll see how that, that goes. Some of the comps were great. All right, a pair of frame denim. This is the Lehigh Skinny and it's a size 27. So just a great, Nice and dark. I mean, it's, I don't, I wouldn't say this is, you know, new without tags or anything, but hasn't been washed that much. So, and skinnies are still going strong. So, all right, this is a new to me brand. Um, so it's L-U-T-A-R-T-E, handmade, but it's just kind of a swim cover up dress and the comps are very mixed, but I thought I would try the new brand. They didn't mark this very high. It wasn't in the dress area. I think it was in the top area. Um, it has a little bit of elastic back here, but I thought it was adorable. And it is pretty expensive original. So we'll see, it might only be in that 25, 30 range, but again, it wasn't marked very high, so. All right, I got two Fajerte items, both men's. I have had decent luck with this brand, um, but this is just a men's pullover, lightweight sweater with a quarter zip and just really pretty blue. And then a button front shirt, just great basic for a guy. So yeah, the sweater, I'm probably in that 35 range. This is probably in that 30 range as far as resale value. All right, this is Rag and Bone. Absolutely love this. This feels just super crisp, like it hasn't been worn, um, but very subtle, semi-sheer on the kind of top part and the sleeves, and then just a little bit of the accent down here. Um, just very classic and it feels great, but size small, probably in that 35, 40 range. I do this a lot, I don't know. <laughs> All right, this was the surprise of the day. So this was Alexander Wang, new with tags. I was like, great. So it's the T line and you can see the tag isn't even, like it's still wrapped in, like they ordered it online, it came and they just decided, no thanks. There's a picture of Taylor Swift wearing this and a couple of these have sold in that 90 mark. So <laughs> that was a surprise. I was expecting maybe 35, 40, but I priced really high because that's how the comps were showing. So way to go, Taylor. I don't know. Um, yeah. All right. This is Johnny Was. I feel like I've already, some of the, sometimes my hauls start to blend together. Like I feel like I've already shown this. I know I, I took a photo of this label for Instagram, but Anyways, a really beautiful Johnny Wise piece. Um, there are a couple of very small pinholes that I just noted, so I'm not gonna get as much as I originally had hoped. Johnny Wise has a lot of different lines and labels, but um, yeah, for size large, this definitely runs small. Um, so, but it's, it's a very pretty color. All right, and the last item, ironically, I just watched one of McThrifty's videos. Hey, Mackenzie. And, um, she also found this brand, this brand for the first time and was saying like, oh, the comps were actually decent. But, and I had just picked this up while I was watching hers. And so I was like, oh, we both found this brand, but it's N um, colon philanthropy. This is a vegan leather skirt. 
Again, new with tags, love the fringe. They do have quite a few of these listed. Some of them, I think they're listing too high, but uh, absolutely adorable. Size extra small, but um, yeah. So I kind of price more in that middle of the road because there are quite a few listed, but the brand itself is, looks pretty decent with comps. So I'm hoping probably in that uh, 35, 40 range for this, but that's it. That's what I paid full price for. Uh, definitely, if you like these thrift hauls and the hair that goes all over the place. <laughs> um, hit the thumbs up. I appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.